Okay, now let's look at their graphs. We should already know what sine and cosine look like. We're going to go from... We like to do a full period here. Sine starts at 0, and it has an amplitude of 1. This is its default. giving us a graph that looks like this. Cosine has same period. Actually, all these will have the same period. And same amplitude for cosine. But cosine starts up at the top. And so we get the cosine wave, which looks like this. Now let's look at tangent. So tangent is a relationship of sine over cosine meaning it wants to know our relationship of this vertical height over the horizontal. Well, as we start really low, we have a very small vertical height and a very long horizontal height, meaning our numerator is very small and our denominator is very big at the beginning. In fact, at the very beginning, we have no vertical height, which puts tangent at zero. What happens is, as this dot moves up, our numerator increases and our denominator decreases, making the entire fraction increase until we reach this top, when there's actually no horizontal distance. It's making our denominator go to zero. When that happens, we have a vertical asymptote. So for tangent, we go up like this. Now when we're on the other side of our circle, we're coming back down towards zero. But remember on this side, so here we have sine is positive, cosine is positive. Over here, sine is positive, but cosine is negative. And that makes tangent negative. So we get negative infinity up towards zero, which is what happens when we hit pi. Now the same thing happens. We go from zero, because we have no vertical height, and then we approach the point down here when our denominator goes to zero, and that makes the whole fraction go to infinity. So we get another vertical asymptote at three pi over two. And this pattern repeats. So every half a period, we have a vertical asymptote. That is your tangent graph. But we still consider a period to be from 0 to 2 pi. OK, cotangent. Cotangent actually looks very similar to tangent, with a couple key differences. So now, instead of our vertical asymptotes happening when cosine is zero, they happen when sine is zero. Because cotangent is cosine over sine. Sine is zero at zero, at pi, at two pi, negative pi, 